Breaking news, I'm receiving reports of volcanic activity in Mount St. Helens. Around 8.30 this morning, a 5.1 a magnitude earthquake has struck the area. The quake is the largest in recorded history. Currently, locals are being warned to stay clear of the active volcano. Officials recommend people within a 10 mile radius of Mount St. Helens to evacuate immediately. If this thing blows, let's just say it's not going to be pretty kids. Stay safe. Right there, Washington, D.C. Sure need some hope right now. And I bet that for the next few years to come, there'll be movies just like this, giving hope to United States citizens. You know, dreaming is how the strong survive. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess he's right. He does have a point. Let's get going. You know, that movie was great. So I'm talking about, you know, know, I love the boaters, the vipers, the everything. Like, 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 Oh, guys, we gotta get going. Oh, okay. We gotta go now. Okay. Let's go. Oh, God. Ronald! Breaking news. We are here filling you in on the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan at the Hilton. The assassin has been identified as John Hinckley Jr., age 26. Hinckley managed to wound a police officer, a Secret Service agent, and a press secretary. We are currently unaware of the president's condition, but we'll keep you informed as more information becomes available. Come in. Sorry, I just stumbled. Hi, I'm Ronald Stone. Cynthia F. Jones. Okay, have a seat. So, if you're here for the uh, secretary position. Yes, sir, I am. What was your name again? Cynthia F. Jones. What's your middle name? From Austin. Uh, okay, I found you. Cynthia from Mawson. Cynthia Freemason Jones. It's pronounced from Mawson. Mr. Stump, what exactly does Stump Industries do? That's a good question. Here, let me get my assistant. Kenneth, come here. Yes, sir. Okay, so what exactly does Stump Industries do? Last week was teddy bears. This week is cocaine smuggling, sir. Okay, thanks. Anyway, here at Stump, we like our secretaries to be employed for any position that could come at them. Now, what does that mean today? We're having you analyze a poem. So, Mary Barnett's Small Things. I cannot tell you how all my dreams are coming now. Small things are mine, and the wind before me in the trees seems to bow. 
How do you feel about that? Well, I believe that the poem stands for nature, and nature can... Okay, so you're completely wrong, okay? Mary Barnett's Small Things embodies the attitude of young adults in the 1980s. Yuppie culture has taken over the white-collar workforce, and more people seek a college education. Daring to take on the world and make it your own is a characteristic of the yuppies. By daring to dream, you prove your inner strength, and Small Things instills in the idea that dreaming is indeed how the strong survive. Small Things is about yuppie culture? You're right, it sure is. But you know what it isn't? You. You can leave my office now. I'll remember this, Mr. Stump. I'll remember this. Italy, hi, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Is that little JJ? Sure is. Hey, what's up, man? You on your way to work? Yeah, I am. Stump has us going in early for some stupid secret project, but look at this little guy. He looks just like his dad. Aw, uh, ain't he a cutie, right? Look at this little toe. Come on, give that little toe a kiss. Come uh, on. I'd Come rather, on. I'd rather not. There's a new thing called AIDS going around. I'd rather not risk it. All right, this little nerd has a little thing for history, man. I don't know. Every time I put it on the TV, he just loves us in that history. Oh, goodness. Why? History sucks. I know, right? Like, who would even want to be a U.S. history teacher? Like, that's some boring stuff, man. What Remember the? back in high school? Oh, no, that was not what I was I know about. what you're talking about. I hated my U.S. history teacher. <laughs> All right, well, nice talk, man. I'll see you around. <laughs> okay. Oh, you missed a spot. Oh. Really? Look at that. It's like... Look. so small, but I see your true colors shining through. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! No, he's perfect for being a history teacher. Come on. Hey kids! You're Santiago's friends, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm his dad, Mr. Delvani. But you can call me Dave. Hi Dave! Hi Daddy. Dave. Well, can I get you guys something to drink? Dad, could you stop your parents? Sit down and play your goddamn Pictionary, child. I will beat you no, so hard. I'm, I'm just kidding, Daddy. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Oh. 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 Everyone quiet. The commercials are about to start. January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. So, what was that about? No idea, it's really weird. Dude, yeah, like, that was like very weird. What did that have to do with fruit? No, no, see, Apple was making fun of that book, um, uh, 1984. Book, you mean the year? I can't read. What's a book? Well, anyway, the book 1984 is about the destruction of society, and I think Apple's trying to show that through their commercial. I mean, let's face it, we've gone through some pretty troubling times in these past few years, but instead of focusing on that destruction, Apple uses 1984 to show that, you know, dreaming is how the strong survive, and that anything's possible, like that girl defeating the robot things. Sign of the times, I guess. Well, damn, Jackie, you're pretty good. Michael? No, no, you're nowhere near as good as my dad. He's been to the moon twice now. What are oh, you doing, Dad? You know, I'm really feeling it, so I think we're gonna go up again soon. It's gonna be a blast. Do you know when? It's about two years. Yeah. Well, Dave.
flight, 104%. And liftoff, liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three to fuel. A minute, 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. I know it's hard to understand, but sometimes painful things like this happen. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the brave. The Challenger crew was pulling us into the future, and we'll continue to follow them. There will be more shuttle flights and more shuttle crews, and yes, more volunteers, more civilians, more teachers in space. Nothing ends here. Our hopes and our journeys continue. This just in, we have learned that President Ronald Reagan and his administration have been supplying weapons to Iran in exchange for the release of American hostages held in Lebanon by Hezbollah bullet terrorists. The transaction that took place in this scandal was contrary to Congress's legislation and contrary to Reagan's administration policy. The weapons were sold and the hostages were released. It is unclear if President Reagan was aware of these transactions. We will keep you posted as more information becomes available. This wouldn't have happened in my decade, the 1930s. When I first started there, now the government's lying to us. Of course. Well, the news didn't say that President Reagan knew anything about it. You're not helping, Jackie. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ, we won't help you. You know what? Let's just watch some full house and get our minds off of this. Yeah. So he's left to take care of his three kids. It's, it's about him and his friends, and they keep pushing their kids to keep dreaming, to reach their goals in life, because dreaming is how the strong survive. The show's pretty good. You should try and catch more episodes. Nah, I just like this show because it shows how even if you're not related to my dad, you can still be a fan. Santiago, we're your family. Aww. I love you guys. Well, since you guys are my family, I have an announcement to make. I'm trying out for the 1992 Olympic team. Hey! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Train. Bye, guys! Oh, hey, guys. You ready to work out? Yes, but first, what are you wearing? It's my running clothes. <laughs> are you serious? Okay. Do you? Yeah. Okay, then. Let's just get this started. Did you bring the boombox then? I didn't. You did sorry. It. I'm sorry, I had a lot going on. I had to get Lighting my headband. I'm sorry. I had to get my short Hey guys, shorts. I got the boombox! Yes! Hey. Someone yeah. doesn't disappoint us. Okay, let's uh... Let's put on like, Don't Stop Believing or something. Yeah, yeah no, let's do it. No, no, no. no, no. Whoa. no. There's so Why much not? Fun. Have you heard it? It's literally about doing drugs. No, no. no. Dude, look, back me up. Dude, like, you, you, you got it all wrong. So like, this song, Don't Stop Believing, is exactly why we've been successful. No matter what life brings at us, we've always taken the gamble it brought, and we always came on top of it. And we always kept going. We always faced adversity, we met new people, and we dreamt. We kept dreaming on, and we kept achieving success, because dreaming is how the strong survive. Guys, why do we keep saying that? What does it mean? I don't know, let's, let's just go already. Let's go.
that fun, guys? No, it wasn't. Santiago, I sweated. You know what, guys? Let's, uh, let's get a bite to eat. I can't. Gotta have Why not? Eat. Yeah, I have tickets to go see Lake Miss. Wait, Lake Miss? Isn't that the one about where they build a barricade like the Berlin Wall or something? No, no, no. You see, it's about the French Revolution. It was inspired by Victor Hugo's book. Lemez follows the story of a bunch of young revolutionaries working together to fight against tyranny. Together, they show us that dreaming is how the strong survive, and no matter what, goodwill and democracy will always prevail. Anyway, it's getting late. I gotta go. Bye, guys. So, food? Yeah, let's blow this pup's full sand. Come on, guys. Thank you.